I have a viewer's request to explain and demonstrate what's called the headless mode. And that is this button. There's a star and then a circle with an A in it. This controls both headless and the automatic return. Automatic return, you would hold that button down until the drone returns to you and release it for it to be stationary. To go into the headless mode, you just tap it one time. What that does, and here's the front of the drone and the camera. So normally, you would fly with you positioned behind the drone. Normal operation, the camera would be pointing straight ahead. You would be flying. You go forward, you slide this pad forward, you'd go forward, slide to the left, you'd go left, down would be back. When you turn on the headless mode, say you're flying and you pivoted the drone to look to your left. And imagine you were there was some wildlife, maybe a deer or something was walking along. The headless mode allows you to do that from the side, whereas in the traditional mode you would only be able to follow it from behind. So to clarify, you've pivoted to the left, now you tap the headless mode one time the drone will maintain that position. So now when you push the up button to go forward, it's forward from the controller. On the drone itself, it's really banking to the right. So that's the headless mode. It is based off of the controller so that when you push forward, it goes that direction. When you slide the controller to the left, the drone goes to the left but the camera stays in the same position. Hopefully that's clear, so let me put it on the floor and show you it in actual use. Okay, I'm starting out in just normal mode. I'm going to start the propellers. I'm going to elevate just a little. Okay, so backwards, thumb pulled back, forward, thumb pulled forward. Left, slide to the left, right, slide to the right. Now I'm going to go to headless mode, but I'm going to um, pivot. Okay, so I pivoted. I'm going to pivot a little more. Now I'm going to go to headless. Headless is on, and I'm going to push forward and see it goes forward while the drone remains sideways. So I'm pushing forward, and it goes forward away from the drone and the camera is actually pointed to the left. So if I pull back towards me, it comes towards me. So hopefully that's clear. I'm pushing forward and it goes forward away from me. When actually at the drone itself, it's it would be making a right hand turn. So that's the headless mode. To stop it, you just tap it again. Again, if I hold down that button, it will return to me. And here it comes. If you want to use the either the photo camera or the video camera that's mounted on the front of the drone, you have to access it through an Android or an iPhone. There's a scanner on here if you know how to do that with your phone on your uh, in your instruction book. Or if you go to your app store so all you do is in your search box type in Simrex and I did the top one I, and I already have it downloaded but uh, this will pop up so it is Simrex FPV